chances for Eagles there. And Bergy, um, 16, 17, which is, which is nice for the finish. And then the front nine, uh, Bergy 11, or Bergy 2, 4, 6, and 7. Mm -hmm. The rest of the park, so it was, it was pretty, pretty consistent. What were the greens like right now? Because there was a bit of talk a couple of weeks ago that the greens weren't the best, and it seems to yeah, they're, they're better than be. they're better than uh, I expected. Obviously, when they send out something like that, you do tend to worry, but generally they uh, I think they are uh, better than unexpected. Surprise you? I, I yeah, the course is, course is pretty good. I mean, obviously, it's the greens have been a little bit better, but it's just a few in the beginning, here and there, but generally they're ninety percent fine. Mm -hmm. And, just, at all. and what about you? you know you, you've obviously had a lot of injury problems in the past. Are you, you clear of all of those? Yeah, and, pretty you know, much. You know, yeah, played out of last year every yeah. tournament I wanted to. and didn't have to pull out of any. Uh, you know, so hopefully this year <coughs> the same the same thing will happen. You know, no, no trouble really. I just got to maintain things and got quite a lot of work uh, <coughs> from my physio and that to keep me going. But uh, it's it's been good. What's that entail then? Are you, are you constantly working on keeping your back strong? Or, or yeah, it's just, uh, you know, I've got to just check things and keep things uh, moving and, uh, and all of that. But um, I've got a good physio with me and uh, you know, they seem to, to keep all the problems away. It must be quite rare to have such a low score with no Eagles. Is there a sense that it could have been even better? Did you have any ones? Yeah, I had a lot of opportunities actually on their front line. I mean, it could have been quite, quite special, I suppose. But, um, Two very good opportunities, I would say. And uh, I suppose it is good yeah, 10 birdies. It's yeah. Normally there's always an eagle between them. I suppose I'm quite happy with what happened. How does that set you up for the weekend? How do you feel? It must be yeah, fun. I mean, look, it, obviously it looks like the scoring is pretty low. Um, I think the court is playing a little bit easier. The rough isn't as up as it normally is. Um, looking at the leaderboard, it looks like there's you know, a lot of guys from 4 5 under par and onwards. So it's going to be quite a low scoring event, I would imagine. I think normally 17, 18 wins it around. I would imagine this year maybe somewhere around 21. And uh, I think it might just be a bit more bunched than, than the previous previous years. So you've got to, uh, you know, just got to keep going. And, uh, these guys keep going every day lower and lower. So just if it happens, it happens. Mm -hmm. You can't get too carried away, but that's a perfect start, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's as good a start as I could have hoped for. Um, as I said, you just these guys these days, you know. It's the depth is so much more than it used to be, so the field isn't as strong as it always is here, which I suppose is a good thing, but um, the cars can still play, so you've got to just, as I say, just put three more solid rounds together and, and hopefully come Sunday it's enough. Was the uh, course record on your mind at all? Or yeah, you I, mean, you? I knew 61 was a record. I remember they used to have a car yeah. for breaking that record, <laughs> so that, but then they didn't have the car anymore. So. <laughs> I always thought that was an impossible task, but mm -hmm. I suppose it, I came pretty close today, so that was, uh, I knew it was 61. Mm -hmm. Do you know who did it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I think it was yeah. 94. Yeah, exactly. First round in 94. Mm -hmm. That would have been nice. Yeah, yeah. That, that would have been nice. Would have been my luck. I wish I had 60, it would have been no problem. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I'd rather shoot 62. What about, obviously, South African golf's very, very strong. Mm -hmm. Can you just say how much of a kind of motivation that gives to you and, and how that helps yeah, you? Yeah, it's, it's South African golf is, uh, yeah, we've got a number of guys that have come through and have been there for a while now. And, um, it definitely motivates motivates each one of us and, uh, you know, to keep going and, you know, kind of, you know, you know their games quite well, so well, I know their games quite well and you think to yourself, well, I'm sure if they can do it, there's you know, <clears throat> no reason why I can't, so you know, maybe that helps, maybe it, you know, puts a bit of pressure on you as well sometimes, but we just got a, a good bunch of guys coming through, and uh, you know it's it's healthy for for our nation. Mm -hmm. And do you speak to a lot of the boys as well? Yeah, I'm friendly with them. Uh, it's just you know with uh, Charles and Louis moved to the US, we don't see each other that much anymore. But still quite a bit. How did you feel coming into this week? Did you know that there was a good score on the cards? Did you know that? You well, I've been off since what's it, Leopard Creek, so I only started playing last week again. Took mm -hmm. off about four weeks. Um, my game felt good when I started playing again, but you know this game is strange. Some days you feel great and you shoot level par, and the next day you feel off and you shoot 65. So mm -hmm. you know you just got to find a way to put it together. And uh, I've often felt tournaments where I haven't felt great, I've done well. Tournaments where I feel good, you finish 20th.
but you never really know this game, I suppose. Uh, does 10 under give you some leeway, you know, with three rounds, three rounds nah, of play? Does it take the pressure really, off? The guys are really nine and uh, and uh, so, uh, you know, I, I would imagine two of tomorrow I'd be, be somewhere already really on 12 or 14 under par. So, um, as I said, I think it's going to be a low-scoring event, so um, you're just going to have to keep going. What's the plan now? Are you going to work on some, some of your game now at all? Or are you going to nah, just some lunch, physio, <laughs> yeah. maybe 10 minutes of putting and then I'm done. Shopping. <laughs> Shopping. <laughs> are, you, are you confident in these sort of situations when you're leading first day? Have you carried it out before? Have you... I've, I've never led uh, from the front. I, well, I think all my wins have always come from behind. Um, I think I've come as far as six behind on the last day. So, um, so is this like a different situation for you to, to yeah, late first day? It's day one. If after day three, if I'm leading, then it's I suppose a different story. Then you've got a realistic opportunity of winning the tournament. You know, if it was after day one that they gave the trophy, then I'd be happy. But <laughs> unfortunately, that doesn't happen in our game. Oh, cool. That's great. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks. Congratulations. Yeah.